Hey, so in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of trying new things and getting out there, finding new things and exploring, all that stuff. The importance and what it can achieve. So first off, I have to say, this is not me telling you to go Christopher Columbus and go find some land. You know, when I tell you to explore, it doesn't mean go map something. Not what I mean. Not what I mean. What I mean is a new hobby, a new job, a new interest, a new anything, a new book, anything. These things that are not land. <laughs> we're, we're not taking it literal. So, now that you know that, let's get on with it. So, why is this exactly important? Well, I want you to first, before we go there, look at how your normal day goes. What is it filled of? It is filled of things that you normally already know and do. There's no mystery, really. I mean, there is. You know, you run errands here, you go there, you do that. Yeah, yeah, but... Roughly, you could plan tomorrow pretty good, and it would be similar to today, right? You'll have your school or your job. You'll have that one hobby or that interest in mind. You'll be looking into that one thing, doing that one thing. You know that there's going to there's gonna be something that's going to take up the majority of your day, because all humans have it, whether it's school or work. You know there's one thing that's going to take up the majority of your day, just generally is the same as yesterday, right? No day is, and I'm not telling you you have to have a completely different day. I'm going to get that off the bat. That doesn't need to happen. But for now, just ground yourself and realize today and tomorrow, they're pretty similar. Tomorrow is always better, but still, you get what I'm saying. You get what I mean. So, what exactly do, do we gain from adding new things into the mix? Because as I said, everything's kind of the same. So if it's the same and it's structured and it's well, and it doesn't have many flaws, why do I need to even put things in there and what will I gain from it? Well, one key thing that is robbed from us when we have the same day every single day is adventure. Adventure can't be had the same way that you read it in the fantasy books. You know, like the Vikings and going on their their long sails to unknown lands. Or, you know, the guy who goes across a country. Like Lord of the Rings, going across the country on an adventure. It, it, it's not like that. It's not like that. But our version of adventure in the modern real world day is more or less just trying anything new. Reading a new book, as I said, or getting a new job or interest or hobby, whatever it is. All adventure. All of it. And it's exciting in a way, isn't it? Because between me and you, we can both kind of tell that there's an excitement behind it, the word adventure and the thoughts it brings. I mean, of course, it would be like a lot cooler if there was dragons involved. I'm not even going to lie. But we both know that we can't have dragons in our adventures. So for now, I suppose this will have to do. Which is, you know, like I said, going out in the world and trying new things. The real world. The real world. Anyway, what does that bring? Why am I telling you to do it? Why am I getting you excited for it? Well, let's look at it. Let's take an example. A new job. Let's start with that one. A new job could be like a side one, or maybe you don't like your current full-time, so you do a different full-time, whatever it might be. Look at what it can bring. It can bring you forms of happiness and fulfillment. It could bring you money. It could bring you friends, connections, new opportunities, so on and so forth. Like That's just some, but let's just stop there for a second. I don't have to list everything, but you get it, right? So many, so many, so many things can be brought from just trying that new job. Now I know that's a big thing. I'm not I'm not telling you as a person that you need to go get a new job. This is a metaphor, but you understand that in that instance, if you were to, you'd gain at least a so, a, a solid couple of those and the rest that could be listed. You know it. You could gain some friends. 
you're most definitely going to gain money. You're going to gain an experience. And that's the thing. You can choose to brand that experience good or bad afterwards. Because you cannot predict what the job is going to be like. You can say roughly that it might be like that, maybe. But you won't be able to prove that theory until you do actually go in there and complete your job. Or just participate in whatever it is. Only then can you say, was the experience this or this or this or this? And with that comes its own league of things. Because you now have an experience, which you can say you did, and you like or you don't like, and I don't want to or I do want to continue in my whole life and teach the, the lessons I've gained off of it. This, this is a thing that you can do with everything. With literally everything. It could be with a book. I didn't like that book, but I read it. Here's what I learned from it. Here's why you shouldn't read it. Here's why you should read it. Here's why it was or wasn't for me. You, you, you see the idea. It's an experience. It's something new. It's something exciting. Because no matter what you say, no matter what you do, you cannot predict the experience you'll get at all. That links back into the previous point that I said where you gain all these things. You don't know which ones you're going to gain. You don't know which ones you might even come at a loss at. Because there's some things that you can gain that are bad and also lose, I guess you could say. And if you gain bad things, then yeah, you could brand it as a bad experience. But honestly, it's still an experience. It's adventure. Makes your life exciting. Gives you new stories to tell. It gives you a life to look back at and... Now you can confidently say that you actually know how that would have went for you, how that did go for you, because you gave it a try, whatever it is, you gave it a try and now you know that wasn't going to work or that did work instead of being left to the unknown. You can look back at that and you can do all these other things you, and you can just have a super exciting life just by trying something new. It's crazy. It's crazy. As I listed with those benefits, try an activity with me. Pick something that you want to do that you haven't done. And list off what you could gain what, that's good and bad, what you could lose. List all these things. Try to predict what the outcome is going to be as long as it isn't something like horrible. I'm not telling you to go gamble because like, yeah, you could win a million dollars, but you could also lose all your money. So I'm not telling you to go gamble like that, but honestly, if you're, if your worst thing is I read this book and I either like it or don't like it, are you seriously, are you seriously going to tell me that's too great of a risk? It isn't. It really isn't. So in, in cases like that, don't go, don't go nuts, but in cases like that, just list it out. Think about what it might be, look at the title of the book and think I will or will not like it, and then try a little bit at least anyway. And then eventually, you'll gain that experience. You don't have to see through the full book, but you'll gain some of the experience, and you'll either continue or you'll stop. But now look at what you've done. You've added adventure to your life, an exciting new thing, and most importantly, you can look back now, and you can easily say, I was never meant for that book, or that book was never meant for me. Or maybe that book was meant for you. Look at where it brought you today. At least now you can look back at that book and see what you could have and could have not been. Instead of just guessing and, and left to uh, skipula or the words The word is uh, sk skipulation. Ah, I think the word lost me there. You get what I mean. Spe uh, speculation. That's so stupid. I'm going to look back at that. That's so stupid. Speculation. I said speculation. Regardless. Regardless. You don't have to look back at your life and speculate. Speculate. Anyway. So crucial you do new things. So crucial. I'm constantly trying to do new things. Especially because I know that as a, as a young person, I have the advantage to do a ton, a ton of new things. 
I think there's a bird in my window, but we're going to keep talking. <laughs> anyway, I have, I have a ton of opportunities and a ton of time to do a ton of things. Not everyone has this privilege. And I take it, I, I, I'm so grateful for it. So grateful for it. But honestly, we need to we need to remember that we never truly get too packed for a little bit of adventure in life. So even if you have like a fraction of my time, you still have enough for a little itty bitty bit of adventure. And I, I encourage you so much to get after it, to try that new thing, whatever it may be. Because look at what you can gain. Look at what you can lose too. Be careful in your decisions. Don't be a dumbass. Make a proper decision. And then have an experience. Have an adventure. Go get it. That's my challenge for you today. I want you to pick one thing. One thing that fits into your life and schedule. That you can do. Just sometime soon. Today even. That you've been wanting to maybe give it a look into or maybe just try out for even a little bit some little adventure just take one little adventure that's safe and doable and get after it i'm not telling you to you know quit your job and go get a new one but as i said you know start with that book that you you've been wanting to read but you're you know you're you're kind of skeptical about anyway that's it. That's it. I wish I knew it when I was younger, but I'm still young, so it works for me. And I hope this helps you so, so much. Have a super fun and exciting and adventurous life. I'm telling you, it is the best one. Makes life super fun. Otherwise, it's boring. And you get so many opportunities, so many benefits, so many stories. That's it. Take care, my friend.